Up next, time to open up Mike's Lunchbox as part of our small business focus and inside today, the newest business in golf. We'll show you a way to play around at some of the best country clubs in the country without actually having to join them. Mike Hegedus will tell you how when we come back. Welcome back. Time to focus on small business inside Mike's Lunchbox today. We're off to the golf course, not just to play a few holes, but to take a look at the newest <laughs> business on the links. It's already been wildly successful in the world of private jets. It's now spread to the world of private clubs. Hegedus slips into his logoed sweater, dusts off his membership card, and heads to the club. It is the world on the other side of the wall, the private golf club. Hundreds of millions of dollars annually pass through country clubs across the U.S., a once flourishing business model used for and by business. But in the last decade, with a supply and demand imbalance brought about by overdevelopment, it has needed three things. More, more rounds, more players, uh, new people playing golf. People like Bradley Hamburger, senior vice president of FOA and Son, a businessman who fills all the country club criteria except one enough time. I love to play golf. I love to take my clients and my friends to play golf. But I can't play enough uh, really to justify a private club membership at this stage. In a press for time, older parents of younger children, tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars for a membership environment. There has been a paradigm shift in the private golf club business. The existing membership at clubs is obviously aging. Clubs have lost sight um, on really focusing on the pipeline of the new young member. And young people today just aren't joining private golf clubs at the same rate as previous generations. Gary Rosenberg is chief marketing officer for the newest thing on the business side of golf, Tour GCX. Remember what Marquee Jet and other fractional ownership companies did for the private jet business, selling pieces or guaranteed time slots on private airplanes? Well, that's what Tour GCX, started by the same folks that started Marquee, wants to do for the private golf business, selling fractional memberships in some of the best country clubs in the country. They've thought outside the box. They've brought a concept that has worked in other areas of business and, and brought it to the golf club. Operating initially in the New York metropolitan area with one course in Florida and three in Las Vegas, GCX's current 300-plus members, each of whom pay $6,250, have access to 15 private clubs like engineers here in Roslyn, New York. The courses and all the privileges of membership. And while there is some limitation, members always come first. There aren't many. I played uh, eight rounds through the tour and I'd say two or three of them were with friends and the other five or six were with clients. Friends and clients that may end up joining the club or want to do business there. Much needed new cash flow. Of course, there is that old saying about not wanting to join a club that would actually have me as a member. They don't check your swing, do they? Inside the Lunchbox in Roslyn, New York, I'm Mike Hegedus for Power Lunch. Not a bad follow through there, Higgins. I, well, that I wouldn't know about, but because I don't golf, but I think that's a great idea. Yeah, it, it and it's a, that's a reasonable. Well, right it's now. a reasonable price. I thought it was going to be much more expensive no, than that. That's so. the way that should work.